In this video, I'm going to show you the tiles that you'll be playing with. But first, I just want to give you a little bit of background and tell you about a few resources if you want to dig in deeper. Mahjong was created in the 1880s. That's the earliest archaeological evidence. Some people say that Confucius created the game, but that's not true. If you want to know more about the history of Mahjong, you might be interested in an article written by Tom Sloper. I'll provide a link below the video to his website where you can find an index of the history of the game. A couple of other books that you might be interested in would be written by Greg Swain. One is called Mahjong, The Art of the Game, and another is called Mahjong is for the Birds. They're both fascinating books and I highly recommend that you add them to your library. Let's get to the tiles. These are all the tiles that you're gonna be playing with. Think of them kind of like a deck of cards where you have clubs, spades, hearts, and diamonds. But instead of those suits, we have three numbered suits. Dots are numbered one through nine. Some people call these balls or plates. The next suit is bamboo. We call these bams. The one bam is the only bird in the set. It goes with the bamboo suit. In some sets, the bird is sitting on a bamboo stick. Maybe that will help you remember. So the bird goes with bam. Some people might call these sticks. The next numbered suit is character. We call this crack for short. Dots, bams, cracks. These are numbered one through nine. The next set of tiles we have are winds. North, East, West, and South. Then we have dragons, red, white, and green. Americans call them dragons. They're not called dragons in Asian versions, but for American style, we call them dragons, red, white, and green. Then we have flowers. There are two sets usually in the game. They're, the tiles are numbered one through four. The numbers for American Mahjong don't matter. In Asian versions, they do matter, but not for American style. If you are called to have a pair of flowers in your hand, these will do just fine. Any two flowers, the numbers don't matter. And finally, we have jokers. This is one of the really big differentiators for American Mahjong, the use of lots of jokers. We have eight of them. So all in all, we have dots numbered one through nine, bands numbered one through nine, cracks numbered one through nine, winds, dragons, flowers and jokers. There are four of the suits and winds and dragons, four of everything. There are eight flowers and eight jokers. If you have any questions about the tiles, write them in the comment section below the video. In the next video, we're going to be talking about the sets that you'll be playing with. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Be sure to click that little gray bell so you get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.